Hmm, I wonder how much half price books would give me for all of this stuff. What's up guys, happy July 4th, happy Independence Day, what about j Rule Productions? Today is a special video because I'll be donating all this stuff that you see right here to for half price books, which I've never done before. But I've done some research and I read they probably give you like uh, 10 cents to a dollar. So like 10 cents, what is going for, whether it be on eBay or what is selling online. So there are about 76 books, nonfiction, fiction, mostly fiction, some soft covers, some hard covers, and some music along with some PlayStation games. I'll just give you a quick glimpse, some of the music. Which I don't listen to anymore. Um, the games are like PlayStation 3, which I don't play, Street Fighter. Got even one Xbox 360 game. And all that good stuff. Some Michael Crichton books, which I'm a big fan of. Some of these um Left Behind series. So we're gonna stop by half price books today, see how much we can get. I'm expecting, I don't know, at least $150 maybe. Alright guys, so here are all the video games that I'm trading in, mostly PlayStation 3, um, and the Bix is brand new and opened. Okay guys, and here are all the music. Some of these are quite old, Audio Event, Big Bad Voodoo Doll, The Incubus, LFO, uh, Disturbed, Ace of Base, 98 Degrees, Few, Jason Moratz. Seven Sun, Godsmack, Eagle Eye Cherry, um, some collection ones, and even this um, DVD or CD, whatever the heck it is. So here are some of the books, just in case you guys are wondering. It's a quick look. I don't want to show them all because there's too many. Mostly Stephen King books, my Crichton. Comp, some Justin Cronin stuff, you know, some martial arts stuff. So here is Half Price Books website. It tells you on how to sell your stuff in three easy steps. Basically, you bring in your items for sale, whether it be books, video games, music CDs, collectibles, and they'll give you cash once they determine how much it's worth. And you can whether use the cash to buy more stuff or just keep it. So on this website, it explains a little bit about what they pay for, such as the frequently asked questions. Uh, can you tell me what you give me for a certain book? Now, they can't just tell you right off the bat, but expect 10 cents to a dollar. What type of things do you buy? Like I mentioned, they buy books, hardback, paperbacks, new or old, music CDs, LPs, magazines, movies, textbooks, audiobooks, video games, mobile phones, tablets, games, consoles, e-readers, all kinds of stuff, such so as collectibles and also comic books. How does the process work? Just simply, like I mentioned, there's no appointment necessary or anything like that. And they just give you cash right off the bat. From my own experience, it was like less than 10 cents to a dollar or so and based on this story from somebody that posted on april 5th 2019 they brought in um let's see they brought in a box full of dvds star wars on vhs hardcover books paperback books textbooks about 30 books and lo and behold they only got 15 dollars so they got it on the high side they estimate it to be like 25 cents to the dollar, which is actually pretty good. All right, guys, I'm gonna have a price books in Bellevue. Got all my stuff right there. My mom's guarding it before we're taking to the half price books.
So guess how much I have Bryce Books offer me all of those items that I brought in. There were roughly 95 items in there, guys. 13 games, 32 music CDs, 50 books. How much do you think they offered? Was it $150 like expected? $100? $50? $25? Higher? Lower? You guys will freak out when I say they only offer for nine dollars and forty-one cents. That's that's like ten times less, ten plus times less than what I expected. I was expecting one hundred fifty dollars. They offer me roughly like ten cents per item. If you do the math, ten cents times ninety-five items that's nine dollar fifty cents. I was I felt totally disrespected. I. I was totally speechless that I got so mad that I was saying, go ahead, keep the rest of my books. Just take the items that you think that's worth something, which turned out to be the PS3 uh, Brutal Legend game with Jack Black and a couple of books. You know, they gave the excuse like, oh, these items we can't put in the store. Uh, I think they just used that as an excuse so you could donate it to them. Who knows? They might mark it and pull it out in the store later. That's why you see all these different kind of books they have. I mean, I gave a lot of like Stephen King's books that's popular, Michael Crichton. There's no way that it's not popular. Another key point I want to point out is I brought so many items. I had doubts about them really spending the time and researching every single book. I mean, think about it. We're all human after all. You know, it's just a job. Are we going to actually going to research on the eBay or whatever system they use and see what's valuable or not? We're going to probably take a glimpse and see what books are popular you know first thing that comes out comes up is uh, popular offers as Michael Crichton Ang Lee people like that Stephen King you know we might put that as a uh, must-have must keep but other than that you know it just depends on the person at that half price books and depends what their mood is I think the strategy is just gonna you know list a couple items that they feel is worth something give you the lowest quoted amount and say the rest of these items are pretty much worthless they're going to help you donate it if you're going to take it back or not you're already in a bad mood you probably don't want to take this trash with you back home fortunately I was in the process of cleaning out my house you know uh, giving away donating stuff I was even in the process of donating to Goodwill before I decided to let's make a video and see how much hair price books will give me for my uh, items 10 cents per item that's totally ridiculous half price books what is going on you guys make so much money you guys mark up the comic books you know you guys pay like 10 cents to the dollar but yet you sell it to like ebay prices you probably pay like 10 cents for the comic or 50 cents and you mark it up to like 50 100 dollars based on ebay prices and then you're gonna pay people with disrespectful amounts like 10 cents come on you gotta at least give me a quarter to the dollar so guys, you guys have stuff that you are giving away. You know what? Just give it to your friends. Let them read the book or play the game. You feel better deep inside rather than having like a couple of dollars given to a corporation. Or you know what? Maybe even um, put on eBay, sell it yourself. Put on Craigslist. Or donate it to Goodwill and write off on next year's taxes. I bet you the rate of return is higher than what you come to expect from Hat Bright's books. So next time, if you have items to donate or get rid of, think twice before hitting up Hat Bright's books. But I do congrat. I mean, I'm a fan of them because sometimes they have gem items. I find a lot of uh, key issue of comic books. But if you want money in return for your stuff, you're not going to get it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Until next time, take care of yourselves and your collectibles.